Well, my name is uh, Wilfred John Toms. I'm the last surviving member of the Toms family in Camborne at the moment. And uh, I run the shop which is called J. Toms and Sons. It's now a model shop, but it was once a hardware shop. It was founded by my grandfather many years ago in 1913. Well, my grandfather was born in Los Willio around about 1874, I believe. And uh, his elder brother went to Tilt Cove, St. John's, Newfoundland, where he was a mine manager. And he invited my grandfather, John, to come out there because trade wasn't very good. In fact, in uh, Los Willio, jobs were not really available. And he went out there to make his fortune, so as to say. And then they decided the mine collapsed and it was decided for everybody to go back to Cornwall. John, my grandfather, came down to Camborne and saw this particular shop uh, for sale. It was originally Crane Field Dairy, a creamery, and it was vacant, so he decided to buy it. This, in fact, is a uh, brochure which my grandfather produced in 1913, which he actually sent to all the people of Camborne. And it's very interesting the quaint way, in fact, it was worded. It says, Dear Sir or Madam, J. Tom begged to inform the inhabitants of Camborne and district that he has opened a business at the above address and by careful and prompt attention hopes to merit a share of your patronage, yours faithfully, J. Toms. Here, we have the very first account book started, it's the day he opened, which in fact was November the 28th, 1913, and on Friday, the takings were six shillings and tenpence ate me. And on the Saturday, on the 29th, on the Saturday, it was 15 shillings and eightpence. In today's money, of course, six shillings would be about 30 pence, and 10 pence eight me would be about 5p. And this goes up to 1917, 1916, all the way through the war. They built what I call the Berlin Wall across the bottom of the town, and otherwise they pedestrianised the square. And nobody came up past the post office. In 1996, there were 40 retail shops in Cross Street alone. Today, you've got a hard job to find five. I have over there, I mean, you don't want it, but a friend of mine and, and myself, we went through the shops we could remember in Cameron that don't exist, and we come across nearly 150. I mean, we had three fa very famous shoe shops. There was um, Leonard's, Oliver's, and uh, Westlake's. But of course, Westlake's shoe shop, uh, they turned into ETS, they've gone, and now they're a betting shop. We had Sweb, for example, in the main square. Uh, Sweb, in fact, shut down and all that area. And now is another betting shop. Uh, we had uh, banks. Uh, we had Midland Bank. Well, Midland Bank was taken over by HSBC. HSB is shut down. And now it's a slot machine joint. <laughs> it's crazy, really. You know, things are going down quite a bit. I think, uh, well, trade in Canberra now is pretty poor in a way. We managed to survive all the way through the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. We even survived the depression of the 70s in a way. We were still going, but as I said, they gradually disappeared. 